All right, now we want to shift our attention to what local and state governments are doing. Certainly focused on it, that's for sure. CBS 4's Hank Tester is live at Miami International Airport with more for us. Hey, Hank. Well, the uh, county and state government officials speaking out this afternoon, prepping up for a potential, a potential of coronavirus impact here in the state. But we need to remind you at this moment, there are no known cases in the state of Florida. Let's take a look. We already have uh, free hand sanitizers on the Metro L and at the airport, and we're installing them in other locations around Miami-Dade County. South Florida getting ready to combat the coronavirus. I liken this to um, a hurricane threat. Hand sanitizer products, masks off the shelves, hard to find. Others stocking up on their essentials. I already have all my medications and backups just in case, and I have antibiotics, which of course they say it doesn't work. But like I said, now it's a prevention. Hospitals making preps. We're well stocked on supplies. One of the interesting points uh, that we've done because who we are, uh, a lot of our masks, et cetera, come from uh, domestically in the United States. The governor's on alert. This is a rapidly evolving situation. We're carefully monitoring in conjunction with the Federal Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and Department of Health and Human Services. At Miami International Airport, they too are set up to monitor anyone who appears ill. Inbound passengers from China routed to other U.S. airports set up for screening. We already have examination rooms. We've always had examination rooms. We have quarantine rooms, and if somebody needs immediate attention, they are ultimately transported to a facility, a hospital. Well, the county making arrangements to bring in test kits to rapidly determine whether or not a person does have coronavirus. Currently, they have to send samples to Atlanta. That takes two or three days. With the new kits, do it in hours. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News at 7. Back to you. Hank, thank you for that update.